Boulder's top stories this week. Pearl Street irrigation renovations get underway. The city seeks nominations for the Outstanding Youth Volunteer Awards. And the city invites the public to Boulder High for a West TSA hearing. Hi, I'm Jennifer Jacobs. The Parks and Recreation Department began renovating the irrigation system last week on the east end of Pearl Street Mall. This is the first phase of a long-term project to replace and update the irrigation system. The irrigation system is a vital part of keeping the popular Pearl Street Mall lush and attractive to visitors. The mall is maintained by the city's Parks and Recreation Department. Each year, staff members plant thousands of flowers on the Pearl Street Mall, including 15,000 tulip bulbs from Holland and more than 6,000 annuals for a varied mix throughout the season. The irrigation system is necessary to maintain these gardens. The repair work will also help the city uphold its reputation as a green technology leader. Replacing failing irrigation system components and upgrading to the latest water conservation irrigation technology will help conserve water. This project is anticipated to last three to four weeks, and there may be a few necessary inconveniences along the way. The existing sidewalk will have to be removed and replaced to allow for the new irrigation system installation, so there may be temporary walkway detours. Additionally, there may be some temporary access restrictions, noise, and dust. For project updates, visit Boulder Park News online. The Pearl Street Mall is not the only place in town that needs a little spring cleaning. The City of Boulder Open Space and Mountain Parks Department and the Boulder Fire Department will be conducting prescribed grassland burns during the month of March. Fire is a natural part of Boulder's ecosystems and these prescribed burns will help improve the habitat for native plants and wildlife. Ditch burning will also be conducted through the city's agricultural properties as the most cost-effective way to clear irrigation ditches before the spring water runoff. Throughout the year, the ditches become overgrown and they can get clogged with plant debris, which reduces the amount of water that can reach the crops. Another benefit to ditch burns is that it reduces the need to use herbicide to kill weeds. Prescribed burns will be conducted at two open spaces in Mountain Park properties, the Stengel One property and the Van Vliet property. Of course, the burns will only be conducted if environmental and weather conditions fall within the city burn plan guidelines. No burning will occur on red air quality days. Ignitions will not begin before 10 a.m. and will end no later than 2 p.m. Trained fire personnel will be on site during this activity as well as natural resource advisors. For questions about prescribed burning on OSMP properties, call Open Space and Mountain Parks or visit them online. Do you know a middle or high school student who has done meaningful volunteer work? Boulder's Outstanding Youth Volunteer Awards are coming up, and the Youth Opportunities Advisory Board, or YOAB, will present awards to 10 exceptional volunteers. Inside Boulder News reporter Natalie Wood spoke with YOAB members and has more on the upcoming awards. They are the youth who help shovel their elderly neighbor's sidewalk or take it upon themselves to care for the animals in the science lab at school. These outstanding citizens are Boulder youth who deserve to be recognized for their efforts to better the city. This is an opportunity for all of us in the city of Boulder to recognize the many kids that are out there that do good things to help support the city. The Youth Opportunities Program is hosting the Outstanding Youth Volunteer Awards, or OIVA, and they are asking for your help recognizing Boulder's youth who do meaningful volunteer work. It's really about meaningful volunteer work. So is there a middle school student or a high school student who does volunteer work that is meaningful either to them or to the person or the organization on the receiving end of it? And those are the perfect people to nominate. The Youth Opportunities Program is a leadership and grant-making program for city youth. Its purpose is to make Boulder a better community for people of middle school or high school age by helping them access cultural, educational, and recreational activities. And the upcoming awards are one way the program encourages just that. For the people that volunteer in Boulder, one of the things that we do is the OIVA to acknowledge their hard work for trying to make Boulder a better community. It's nice to be recognized. It's a nice affirmation of what they've done. And, and in some cases, it's great because, especially with younger students, middle school students who get the awards, I can, my observation is that there's a perceptible boost in their self-confidence. 
Everyone who is nominated will receive a letter of recognition, but deciding on the 10 who should receive an award isn't always an easy process. There's only 10 awards given, mm -hmm. so if we get 26, we have to sit down, look at them. We look at them and choose 10, so 10 of the City of Boulder youth get an, an award. The Youth Opportunities Program is looking forward to recognizing Boulder youth who truly make this city a better place. For Inside Boulder News, I'm Natalie Wood. The deadline for nominations is coming up fast, so be sure to nominate your youth candidate by March 18th. Each nominee will receive a letter of recognition, and up to 10 will be selected to receive an award at a breakfast banquet on April 14th. A public hearing on the West Trail Study Area Plan will be held on Tuesday, March 15th at 6 p.m. This meeting will be held at the Boulder High School Auditorium located at 1604 Arapahoe Avenue. If you'd like to speak, you can sign up starting at 5 p.m. that evening. Each participant will be given two minutes to speak. However, three speakers may pool their time to be allotted four minutes, and a group of 10 speakers may pool their time for a block of 10 minutes. Council will deliberate and vote on the issue on March 30th in Council Chambers. Registration is now open for spring recreation and summer camps. There are hundreds of fitness, sports, arts programs for youth and adults. You can register online, by phone, or in person. PDF versions of the spring recreation and summer camp guides are available online at Boulder Parks and Rec. You can drop off your registration form at the North or South Boulder Recreation Center or the East Boulder Community Center. That's it for this edition of Inside Boulder News. You can connect with us on Facebook by submitting news tips and questions. Just search for City of Boulder Channel 8. I'm Jennifer Jacobs. Stick around for more Inside Boulder next.